Hey there, YouTube. Corn Cob Piper uh, coming at you on a Sunday evening. Hope everybody has had a great weekend so far. Just been inside watching uh, the Daytona 500. I figured I'd come out and take a, take a break and enjoy a, a nice bowl. Uh, my driver, who is uh, Jamie Johnson, was in second place and just pitted under caution. Uh, took four tires and he came back out in 12th. So uh, hopefully he'll have an advantage by taking those four tires. But we'll see what happens. Uh, at any rate, guys. I am smoking out of my Missouri Meerschaum stubby, and inside I have packed some Peter Stockaby's Luxury Twist Flake, which is a great Virginia tobacco. Uh, comes in a uh, small flake form, um, very very grassy tasting. Uh, it's cased with some kind of um, a sugary topping. Uh, which uh, you know really really brings out the the sweetness in the Virginia's uh, great tobacco. I definitely would recommend that you give this one a try. So uh, today, while I'm out here, I figured I was going to talk about why I prefer to smoke from a corn cob pipe, and I have several reasons. Um, I guess uh, give you a little history behind my pipe smoking journey. So uh, I grew up across the street from an old man. His name was Mr. McCoy and uh, he had uh, a grandkid who was my age and I used to go over there uh, play with the grandkid when I was a, a kid and Mr. McCoy uh, smoked a pipe. Um, and I always re remembered enjoying the smell of the pipe tobacco when I was over there visiting. And even from that little age, I always said to myself, you know what, when I, when I grow up, I'm, I'm going to smoke a pipe. That didn't really become the case. Uh, as I turned out to be a cigarette smoker, and I smoked cigarettes for a number of years, uh, switched to vaping. And uh, after that, I decided, you know what, it's time to smoke a pipe. But backing up even further in my 20s, Early 20s, I, I tried, I figured I was going to smoke a pipe in conjunction with uh, cigarettes. And I, I went out to uh, Rite Aid Pharmacy, I picked up a Dr. Graybo and um, some whatever over-the-counter pipe tobacco they were selling at the time. And I smoked it, but uh, I didn't know anything about cleaning pipes, so my pipe got all funked up and the taste started becoming horrible. So I just kind of left it. And then we'll fast forward now uh, to I'm much older in my 30s and uh, pushing 40 now. And I picked up a corn cob pipe from uh, a head shop uh, who also has had a few varieties of tobaccos as well. Now, I always enjoyed smoking from time to time a, uh, I'm going to move this back here a little bit, guys. Sorry, so I can get a pan in myself better. So I bought a, uh, a pouch of half and half, which I figured was, sounded kind of like a black and mild, which I've enjoyed from time to time, like I said. And I uh, took it home and smoked it, and I hated it. I got horrible tongue bite. I uh, did not like the taste of half and half tobacco at all. So I hung the pipe up and uh, continued vaping. And then um, I decided at some point, you know, I'm going to give this another try. So I, once again, I went out and I bought a Dr. Graybo, uh, a couple different tobaccos. I don't even remember which blends. I think Lane 1Q and maybe another. And I smoked it. I did some research on the internet about smoking pipe. Found out about the break-in period for, for smoking pipe. Um, and I just wasn't really, because I was a novice, I didn't really want to put that kind of work into, you know, smoking a pipe. I just basically wanted to stuff and puff, uh, you know, my way into pipe smoking. So uh, through further reading on the internet, I discovered that corn cob pipes uh, and meerschaums uh, are basically stuff and puff pipes. They didn't require any kind of a break-in period. Um, 
and uh, after doing some more research, I discovered that corn cob pipes, uh, you know, you could get super cheap. Even even the nicer ones are still super cheap. So you know, I delved it you all know, full fledged into pipe smoking and exclusively uh, only smoking uh, corn cob pipes. I did, you know, I do pull my my briar pipes out. I have a couple now from time to time. I'm not a corn cob snob. Uh, I just prefer the way that a corn cob smokes uh, to the opposed to smoking a briar, and I, I like the fact also that I don't have to put the time and the effort into uh, you know breaking in breaking in a pipe. Now that being said, I do own a couple more expensive corn cob pipes. Uh, you know this one here, the stubby, I think was uh, like 15 bucks. I do own, own a uh, Dagner uh, Poker uh, corn cob, which is also uh, like a $23, $24 pipe. So, you know, I do own some, I guess you could call them high end pipes. Uh, but for the most part, uh, I smoke corn cob pipes that are in the $5 to $10 range. And, uh, you know, I love them. Now, I do have my eye on a on corn cob pipe right now I have been checking out the OMS uh, Cherrywood Poker which is a very very cool looking pipe I'm envious to all the YouTube watchers out there that have one I know they're taking pre-orders right now for them in May uh, so I'm doing my best to talk the wife into you know maybe maybe getting me one so but we'll see with that so for the most part my reason for you know, my two main reasons for smoking the corn cob pipe is the frugality of it. The you know, just you know, I can own. Uh, let's just say, you know, I know I know briar pipes, wood pipes. They run anywhere between you know twenty five and a thousand dollars. So we'll just call say the average one. We'll just call it hundred bucks. So for hundred bucks, uh, I can own ten corn cob pipes, and I just like the idea of that. Also. With a wood pipe, uh, you know, you need to rest them, uh, you know, for at least 24 hours uh, period, you know, before you smoke them again. Meaning, say I smoke two bowls a day, uh, you know, I would have to own 14 pipes in my rotation just to to cover the, the two bowls a day. A uh, corn cob pipe can be smoked basically after it's cooled off and dried out a little bit. So, you know, I could smoke, I could carry this pipe with me take it with me in the morning, smoke out of all day, and it's not going to affect the way the pipe smokes, I'm not going to get gurgling, uh, you know, it's not going to make the, the tobacco too moist. So that's a benefit to having a corn cob also. Um, you know, I like the fact that most of them are like pocket size pipes too, you know, I, I could basically carry this pipe around in my pocket with me. Uh, you know, all day as well. And then um, I'm trying to think of some other reasons why I prefer a corn cob pipe. I just like the idea. You know, I, I had the idea of when I pictured myself as a pipe smoker. I always pictured myself smoking like a Sherlock Holmes style pipe. Uh, you know, I get I guess it's just uh, youthful thinking. Um, but I, you know, I really enjoy the way the corn cob pipes look. I mean, this is a pretty, pretty cool looking pipe here, guys. Acorn has got a, a hardwood plug in there. Really, really nice draft. It's small. Uh, you know, that's what it looks like here uh, up to my hand. Um, smokes nice and cool. And, you know, it's, these pipes also are corn cob pipes. If you're into Virginia's, I definitely would recommend putting your Virginias into a corn cob pipe. Uh, every Virginia that I've had so far uh, tastes better to me in a corn cob. It smokes better uh, as opposed to smoking in a wood pipe. So in my collection right now, I have my pipe collection. I have, besides the, the corn cobs, which I have lots of, I have three wood pipes. I have a Dr. Grabo uh, Briar a uh, bent pearwood uh, that I got uh, from the Ukraine and then I also have uh, which I just did a review on I think last night uh, the 
uh, Middle Earth Hobbit pipe from Flogo Earth. And they're all decent smokers, you know, don't get me wrong. I, I, you know, I like, I like smoking, uh, you know, out of, uh, you know, briar or wood pipes every once in a while. There's a couple tobaccos that I have in my rotation that I prefer to smoke out of a, out of a wood pipe, and I do so. You're not going to see me too many times on my channel, you know, smoking from anything other than a corncob pipe. Uh, you know, but I'm not a naysayer. I know there are a lot of night naysayers out there about people that smoke corn cob pipes. They 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 feel that they're an inferior pipe uh, for whatever reason, and you know people just get into that mindset. But I would encourage you if you've never tried to smoke a corn cob pipe to give it a try. I think you'll be uh, pleasantly surprised. So you know, I watched a video the other day. It was a pretty cool video. Um, Padre Piper was talking about smoking some Penzance in a corncob pipe, a, a cheap corncob pipe at that, a, a Missouri Meerschaum legend. And you could pick those pipes up for less than five bucks at most places online. Oddly enough, uh, I own pretty much every Missouri Meerschaum pipe there is uh, style available. I have not ever owned a legend. Uh, I almost one point pulled the trigger and got a uh, legend, uh, the Rob Roy Bowl style, uh, but for whatever reason, I I never got it, and when I place orders for, you know, cob pipes, the legend just never seems to come to mind. It seems to be the one one pipe that I always I overlook and don't ever add to my order. So, you know, maybe at some point I will own a uh, a legend and you know another great thing about uh, corn cob pipes which I'm going to start getting into here shortly is they're easy to to mod you know you can you can modify these pipes pretty easy you could put a nice lucite stem on there they stain fairly easy they sand fairly easy uh, not a lot of you know specific specialty tools do you need you know to modify these pipes which is just another great reason for you guys to own one. Um, uh, there's a f like about four places in particular that I purchased my uh, corn cob pipes from. The first two are the main two places uh, that I order my tobaccos from, which is smokingpipes.com and cigarpipes.com. Uh, most of my business is given to uh, smokingpipes.com. I just like their customer service a little better, and uh, they always seem to give me extra when I when I purchase uh, pipe uh, pipe tobacco in bulk. Also, which is another another nice thing. So, but I do you know I you know if if pipes and cigars has a nice sale, I'm not opposed to ordering from them, and you know I order from them uh, quite a bit. Uh, but I always, when I order from those two, well, I, I always add a corn cob pipe usually to my order. The third place that I order from is from Missouri Meerschaum uh, itself online. I, think, I believe it's corncobpipes.com. Um, kind of a little bit on the pricey side from their website, uh, but they do offer very, very great customer service. If you ever uh, want to make an order, I definitely recommend you call instead of going online and talk to Marilyn. Uh, she's offers super super awesome, you know, great customer service. Uh, their shipping is kind of high too, so not the best economical place to order uh, corn cob pipe. But if you know you want something specific, if you got a broken stem, you need a new mouthpiece, you want a bowl replacement, whatever, you can order the pieces individually from them as well to fix your pipe. So that's that's one of the main reasons I would say for ordering from Missouri Meerschaum. And then last but not least is probably my favorite place to order a corn cob pipe from, and that's at aristocob.com. Uh, this is a, a mom and pop uh, uh, outfit. Really, really great customer service. They have very, very competitive pricing. Uh, shipping is super, super cheap and very, very fast. And I can't recommend this website enough to you guys. I would say if there's one place you had to pick to order a corn cob pipe from, I would go with aristocob. Uh, dot com. And that's uh, that's really it. I mean, those are my reasons for smoking a corn cob pipe. The reasons that I personally prefer to, uh, you know, maybe if I do get that OMS cherry wood poker, you'll see me on a video, uh, you know, sooner rather than later, smoking from a non corn cob pipe. 
uh, but you know, maybe maybe unlikely. So we'll we'll see about that. Uh, so at any rate, guys, I'm gonna get back inside here shortly. Finish watching the race. Hope everybody's had a great weekend. And as always, YouTube, keep on piping.